What's going on my PT peeps, my walking that family, and my fighters. I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about Breaking Bad and the El Camino teaser, as well as if Breaking Bad's Walter White is alive or not. So obviously, spoiler warning for Breaking Bad, El Camino, and everything Breaking Bad related, better call Sal even, spoiler warning. Is Walter White alive? First and foremost, I'm gonna go with no. And even though today is the first day of fall, it is the summer of speculation, and I'm sure a lot of people are saying a lot of different things about Walter White and El Camino and Breaking Bad. Well, the teaser trailer is short. It revolves around Jesse after he got away from the craziness in the Breaking Bad finale, and he survives. He's in his El Camino, is a car. He's smoking a cigarette, alone in his car. He turns on the radio, and they talk about a couple things. A horrific scene with multiple victims. It started when neighbors reported hearing hundreds of gunshots fired. When Albuquerque police arrived, they discovered the bodies of nine male victims. Many shot multiple times, and then they talk about someone got away, and it's clearly Jesse. So El Camino picks up the same day after Jesse got away from Breaking Bad. So it's been so many years since Breaking Bad ended and now we're gonna pick up right where it left off, which is pretty cool. Maybe a day later, but it's breaking news on the radio, so I would assume it's the same day, well, night, that it happened with Walter White and that crazy group. But Jesse is gonna be the star of the movie and I'm hoping that we get to see a lot of people from that franchise. The rumor is, the word is, that there's gonna be 10 people from Breaking Bad, Skinny Pete, Badger, probably Saul. We'll see who's still around, but 10 people, it's pretty crazy to see what happens. Jesse's got scars on his face. You can see the red upholstery in the car, the El Camino, and that's spot on for when we saw Jesse in the Breaking Bad finale. The hair looks kind of different. I know it's dark in the trailer, but did they mess up there? Did they not? It's just a question. I saw it kind of briefly, so it's a quick trailer, but let's talk about what happened in the Breaking Bad finale and why Walter White is one of the nine victims. Because if you count the people in this room, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, Walter's on top, seven, there's a guy in the recliner chair, eight, and there's a guy outside, nine. Jesse is the 10th person in the room, but he gets away. And everyone is shot in the room except for the guy that Jesse takes out with his handcuffs. And you can't see it, but like I said, there's a guy in the recliner chair going up and down like And there's the guy outside with the awesome machine gun. It is pretty awesome. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, I highly recommend it. You shouldn't be watching this video if you haven't seen it because it's kind of spoiling the end. But Walter is shot. You can see it in the clip. He's like And you can see in his face, when he is shot and they talk about the hundreds and hundreds of rounds that are fired by the machine gun and it's a lot it's pretty awesome it's a great scene it's a great finale it's probably one of the best finales of a show i've ever seen it's a great story breaking bad is one of the best shows of all times from start to end it's a roller coaster of emotions of story and it's great but walter is shot you can see it right there one he's dying of cancer right so he probably died of that also, he's shot and he's bleeding out, so there's no way that he survived. If Walter White is in El Camino, it's most likely because of flashbacks, and there should be. There better be flashbacks. I really hope Brian Cranston is in the movie playing a part in tormenting Jesse, haunting Jesse, something with Jesse. Not harming him, but Jesse is going to be messed up. There's no way that Jesse is going to be okay with everything that happened to him. And you have to feel bad for Jesse. Jesse started off one way, and ended another, and so did Walter White. And that's why it's great. The start, the finish, and the whole series is awesome. There's only like a couple bad episodes, like one or two I can think of, of all five seasons. But Jesse gets away, and I believe Walter died. I really hope that Brian Cranston reprises his role as Walter White in talking with Jesse, in hallucinations, or flashbacks, or something. That's really the only way I could see it making sense if Walter White is shown in the movie which he should be. Breaking Bad is the Walter White story. This is El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie that'll premiere on Netflix on October 11th. And I'm very excited. But my thought is that Walter White is gone. And from what I gathered from the trailer, I feel like it's gonna pick up that same night Breaking Bad ended. So we could see Walter White being taken to the hospital or something in the morgue. Maybe there's a burial, maybe there's a funeral, maybe there's something and Jesse goes there. And so we'll see the final resolution of the Walter White character, but he's not alive. And personally, I hope he's not alive because that would hurt the character and Breaking Bad story of Walter White. 
So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. Please guys hit that subscribe button to become a valued member of our PT channel family and tell them Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.